And it's buttons pressed. Sure. See, and I didn't get to go ahead and do my thing. I got to now do it. Wait until the break. So these, you just, you just annoy me. And now I got to get those dirty words out. <laughs> <laughs> 60, 59, 58, this is a man we just started we just started this show guys before. this continues to be a countdown to the slate you're gonna love show. my rant man. oh my gosh you're listening to the countdown to the slate and mason what's this guy doing 44 this is the continued countdown 41 slate and mason show 39 Oh, 38 man. right now. 37. You're listening 36. to the countdown. 35. 35. Late in 34. <laughs> 33. Please stand by me as you're listening to the countdown. 30. To this 29. Mason show. 28. 27. Okay, see, and 24. then you just see, you look at it, make sure it's full right there. 23. And then you pull Continue this out. On. And the countdown. Cap to the slide in Mason now. show. 18. 17, and stand by 16, as we are 15, now delivering the countdown. 14, the Slade and Mason show. 12, is it Friday yet? 11, yes. 10, this is our countdown. 9, to the Slade and Mason <laughs> Seven, show. 6, 5, no. eight, oh, here 4, comes. Here we go. 3, yeah. okay. 2, shh, shh, shh. 1. Now broadcasting from the Dan Mason Studios, deep in the heart of Virginia, it's the Slade and Mason Show. Slade. I'm Dan Mason, and, and this, this is the Slade, Slade Mason, Mason Show. Good morning, Mr. Slade. Good morning, Mr. Mason. And how was your Sunday? <laughs> <laughs> good I morning. To show you, I could, I could, I could go with, I could go with that, man. Yeah, baby. Hey, this is the Slade Mason Show. It's all about you and us. It's like a radio program. Where, there we go. I like that. It's like now it's like it's it. it's like a radio program where we share with you. <laughs> Stop it. Where we share with you news stories. Well, sort of, well, and yeah. things. <laughs> There's, there's certain members of the United States who would say it's probably all fake. <laughs> it's not real. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Things we see throughout the week. It's just our take on it. Please, please, please. We're, look, we're just basically saying the things that you're thinking when you to go. Yeah. Would, and no radio station would allow us to do it. So we create right. put our own platform. Yeah, you're not going to hear this on the radio. We're just having fun. So please don't take it too seriously. All the music is brought to you by Dano Music. Dano Music because we are just that cheap. Um, don't forget to check our Instagram page, the uh, picture from 2016, <laughs> um, at the Slade and Mason show, M A Y. Well, because we love you. Y, yes. Uh, S O N dot, uh, show.com. Um, don't forget to tell friends, neighborhoods, cops. Hey, if you're watching us on YouTube, there's a button you're at the bottom. Think no picture. <laughs> yeah. There's something wrong with you. No, you, <laughs> uh, the guy on the left. Is JD the guy on the right? Is me, unless of course you're standing next to us, in which case I'm the guy on the left, and he's the anyway. So don't. <laughs> here, yeah, well, like I say, the, look for the look for the brother from another mother, and that'll be me. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's me. <laughs> anyway, don't forget oh, boy, to subscribe. There we go. Who is JD Slade? Oh my gosh. <laughs> 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 don't forget to hit the subscribe button and there's a bell next to it at youtube ding, 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 ding. hit the bell and that way you get the notifications that i've posted it at uh, 5 15 on tuesdays that's when the facebook one goes up but the anchor one the one that uh gets podcasted out that goes out everywhere at 10 a.m uh, uh eastern time nine central morning. yeah so, with yeah. that in mind, uh, oh, and as always, we are brought to you by I See Something, I See Treats, and we'll talk about that a little bit later in the program. With that in mind, I'm going to hand the keys over ever so slightly 
uh, uh, to my partner in crime, Mr. J.D. Slape. You know what I don't like? <laughs> <laughs> Andy, go sit down. <laughs> Wait, I had to go. There are two types of programming on television that I have never, ever, ever cared for. Um, One. School, Schoolhouse beauty. Rock. <laughs> uh, one is Beauty Pal. I love Schoolhouse Rock, okay. man. I could watch. I could just. <laughs> I could just binge watch that for days. But anyway, no. One is Beauty Pageants. Mm. One, and that is because number one. <clears throat> talk about baseless. Talk about just vapid. Talk about just empty air. And I think when I was finally done in and knew that I would never, never watch a beauty pageant. Do you remember the Junior Miss America pageant a few years ago and the candidate from Mrs. Miss South Carolina? No. And they, uh, yeah, you know, and they asked her about, of course, uh, oh, just how people learn things, so on and so forth. And she came up with this really convoluted answer and went rocking around the barn. And it's like, well, you know, again, she got her 15 minutes of fame. Where is she now? Mm. Yeah. Con exactly. Congresswoman? <laughs> Hey. <laughs> Excuse me. That that's usually what happens. They they get into politics. Yeah. Well. Okay. Uh, somebody will look it up and they'll 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 let me know. All okay. right. The other type of programming, and it's become <laughs> evident that there must be just ninety of these different programs every season. Mm. And uh, I work in country radio. So last week, I think it was the um, it was the Country Music Awards, okay. and next week it's the CMT something awards, and the week after that it's uh, you know again it's the Country Music Choice Awards. I mean, it's like <laughs> it, here's the problem. <laughs> here's the problem. <laughs> you know, it's like, I would understand it if, uh, you know, again, I don't know. I know that country is now the preferred choice of most Amer Americans now. Do you know that? No, not here. So, <laughs> so, so again, like I say, I when the first, when it was the first one, it was like, okay, it's these country music awards. Mm -hmm. All right. I was all right. But then it's like two weeks later, here's the CMT awards. Well, what is it? What does the T stand for? I, I television, I think. Oh, okay. I, I mean, it's like, and there's Brad Paisley again. <laughs> you know, I, I see. Uh, um, you know, again, that's 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 great for country music, and it's great for country music radio. But boy, I tell you, if you don't like if you don't like country music shows, or you don't like being drawn out for four hours watching these award shows. You are in. You are in for a world <laughs> hell over the next couple of months because, oh yeah, there's you're there's, Br guys. there's Brad Paisley going for the country music award. I want to thank my mom. I'm glad to go to the country music award. Then he shows up at the uh, CMT tell I want to thank my mom. Shows up for the country. I want to thank um, my mom, <laughs> my producer, oh, everybody who's Kill. now still alive from the last. Award and the last one is just a tape recorder of here going. I want to thank my mom, my dad. <laughs> now, you know, again, like I say, I mean, I realize that, you know, you want to have an award, and you, but I think, I think country music just is taking it to the extreme. No, no, because, no, 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 because then it's like, you get an award, and you get an award, and you get an award, and it's okay, you're going to get the country music choice award, but I didn't get the country music award award. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. we're going to get you an award next week, it's okay, Billy, sit down, okay? <laughs> I mean, I just like I say, and I and I and, and at first, I and it would be one thing, you know, if these things were like, okay, hey, it's forty five minutes to an hour, and then the show's over. Yeah, but no, <laughs> it's like I actually have a segment after every one of these shows. It's like you know, again, they're usually like three and a half to four hours, uh -huh. and I have a segment where I say, hey, listen, we're gonna cap these award shows for you in forty five seconds or less, man. And all you hear is thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, and the best award goes to and good night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just well, like I say, I don't know why I'm griping about it because you know I'm I'm never gonna watch any of these because I'm dead sleep. That's why 
that's why my my crew puts together you know the 45 minute to 60 second recap of the five hour award show oh gosh it's got to be painful oh my oh god gosh. you know it's like and see it would be one thing if these were like if these were really special you know <laughs> yeah you know again and if we had the of course the legends you know the george joneses and things like that because mm -hmm. i bet you they could really turn out an award show yeah but it, once a year would be nice right once a once year, a year you got once a year, you go ahead and blow out five hours of television time. But here it is. It's five hours, two weeks ago. It's going to be five hours next week. And I know, I just know that there's going to be another country war show <laughs> before we get to Thanksgiving. <laughs> we now present the new country music favorites award <laughs> based upon yeah, because, album design. You know, again, like I say, I, I say that the only words that really count is you get the Grammy, man. It's like the Grammy. That's it. That's that's the one that says you made it. But you know, but all, we were talking. I, my kids were talking about that, and I said, you know, we were talking about the people who won the Grammy awards, and they're like, <laughs> they have like no idea who these people are. And that that, 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 be my next point. And they're like, okay. oh, those are the old people, right? <laughs> now wait a minute. Listen, Billboard, <laughs> Billboard, which used to be a respected magazine. <laughs> They've got their Billboard Music Award, and I and, and and this is how I know I've gotten. I've finally gotten old, because I don't know who uh, let's see, Post Malone is. Nope. <laughs> I don't know who uh, uh, what Billy Eilish is. Oh, uh, Billy Irish, Eilish. Oh, okay. Billy Eilish. Eilish. Okay, all right. I know who the Jonas Brothers are. I don't know why they're in any category in music. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Uh, Shayna Mendez and uh, Cantilo uh, Carlitos. Careful. Salari. I may have I to mean, blur. I may need to bleep that one out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I, I. I mean, it's like I'm. I'm into music. I really am. Mm -hmm. But I am not into today's current music. It's like there is a radio station, and it's called Hot Something or Another. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and. And and I listened, I listened for about fifteen minutes. First off, every song sounded the same. Yes, every song sounded the same. <laughs> and there's probably a reason behind that. I can't remember the fellow's name. We we're my my, <laughs> my daughter. My daughter and I were talking about that, and she, I said, "Where?" I said, "Where's so and so?" And this, oh, he hasn't produced an album since like two thousand eight. And I said, "Why?" He's busy writing all, all that she says, all those big hits you hear on the radio. So, yeah, he wrote them all. Oh, that's talking I, about that guy. He, he speaks two languages. Yeah, he, I can't remember his name. Friend. Yeah. Anyway, that's the reason because all the big hits are him. Every last one. You look at the credits. It's him. 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 And it's usually got a tick of something in there. Yeah. Tick -a -tick -a yeah. And they all have like a 1980s hit sound to it. And she says, that's why. And they said, that's so, why no one listens to radio anymore. All right. So here we go. It's like, if you had told me 25 years ago mm -hmm. that that Billy Ray Cyrus would win a top rap song award from <laughs> Billboard magazine. <laughs> you would have smacked me upside know, the head so hard. Slapped you. And then I like, I would have said, yeah, right. But sure enough, and this is no lie, little Naz, but here, here's the thing. I kind of like Old Town Road, but it is Billy Ray Cyrus. <laughs> and I just cannot get, don't break my heart, my achy, breaking heart. I, I can't get that out of my system. And Post Malone, and who in the heck is this Cardi B person? Oh, we don't know. Cardi B is like, okay, well, first off, here's a couple of things that we know about Cardi B. She is outrageous. She has a big bottom. Big bottom, talk about mud flaps. My girl got him. Uh, <laughs> hey, did I come prepared for this show or what? Not really. Yeah. Go. <laughs> so, so my 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 point is, and, yes. and it's like, and I guess, I guess back in 1966 and 67, when I was listening to "I'm Henry the Eighth, I Am" and yeah. all these Beatles songs, you know, again, my parents were probably going. What in the world is that noise? Where, 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 where's the good music? Where's Frank Sinatra? No, they didn't. <laughs> no, they did not. 
My parents were cool. <laughs> well, my parents were cool. Well, the other thing is your parents could have turned on a radio station and had listened to their favorite hits, if you will. Yes. Yes. So that can't can. happen and anymore. The other day. There's, there's only four formats left now. <laughs> 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 uh, you know, and, and we know that country is going to be one of them because country is like the biggest format out there. But right. uh, all these people, like I say, uh, Cardi B and Post Malone, is he a basketball player? Uh, Sammy, Sammy Walker and uh, uh, Khalid, he's a disc jockey. And I, you know, again, we disc jockeys, there's some talented, and my, 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 but you know what? This guy has just made a fortune of just being Khalid. <laughs> well, I gotta tell you this my my three boys don't listen to traditional music. My, my daughter listens to quote unquote traditional music. She, um, she, she's got uh, I can't remember the name of the one of those casting services anyway the point is this they the boys listen to techno music yeah, like all that, that background music you listen to when you're playing video games anyway that's the stuff they listen to they go this is really cool dad listen to this hey, tell them to sing the words <laughs> <laughs> all right so it's got a great listen. beat dick <laughs> all right so now listen yeah. i'm looking through all the categories and i've told you about some of the pop categories who i don't know who they are mm -hmm. well here's what country's representation looks like the top country song dan and shay with justin bieber ten thousand oh hours my gosh this is no lie this they, these you know again all right luke combs uh gets top country artist dodd uh top country male artist luke combs uh, top country female artist Marin Morris, uh, top country duo or group Dan and Shay, who just who had that ten thousand hour song with Justin Bieber, and the top country album Luke Combs. Uh, what you uh, say is what you get. Wow. Uh, oh no, what you see is what you get. Okay. I don't know so, any of these people. I know I know them because I play them every day. Uh, but I'm looking at these other categories, and man, whoo. Uh, that was uh yeah that was painful so you have oh. to play justin bieber say what you played justin bieber i actually have been playing justin bieber oh the last my year gosh that's crazy okay. i get ten thousand hours and ten thousand more i you know it's like I didn't pop play tune. Justin i'm sorry I in, when i was in pop radio so it's like you know again imagine my chagrin when i see justin bieber but then again just imagine when i see naz on the charts with uh billy ray cyrus Every once in a while, say I like to I like to burn my program director because I'll pull that out just and throw it on there, and somebody, sure enough, will go on Facebook, go, "Hey, I'm really cool here in the NASA." <laughs> You're like, Shh, "Stop it!" I Try can't get fun. away with squat, man. I cannot get away with squat because it's like I say, I even I even preface stuff by saying, "Now listen, <laughs> please don't blab." I played this, and sure enough, within two minutes, "Hey, I'm great here in the NASA." So, <laughs> <laughs> Ding dongs. And, and here's the thing. Here's the thing. The listeners don't 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 realize that you know that they're burning me because you know they're thinking that they're helping me. No, no. <laughs> Please don't tell. If I tell you not to say something, don't say anything. Shut up. <laughs> All right, my friend. And there is my there. I, I I had to get that out of my chest because, like I say, I've been dubbing commercials. You know, mm -hmm. and it's like, and this week on the CMT Award. Oh <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> well, oh, no, see, that's, that's see, that's like me in football. There was always the big game. There's always a big game with football always going on. I don't care. It's the local NFL JST 104 for the Sunday big wrap up. I'm like, what the heck? So give me give me a break. They, they're just taking a page from football because football does the same dag nam thing. Well, and here's, it here's never ends. Thing. Here's the thing. You're right. You're absolutely. You are absolutely right because uh, football just. Uh, as a matter of fact, if you take a look at the entire world, you're not a fan of what I'm about to say. But when I give you the comparisons, you will understand. Mm -hmm. Do you realize that our governmental system is actually run like the WWE? <laughs> Let me explain. Okay, this should be good. When you get ready, when you get ready to to watch a WWE card, it's always. We're going to see you in the next blah, 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 and we're going to do this, blah, 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 to you, and we'll do that to you, and blah, 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 blah. Just make sure that you're there. Mm -hmm. That's the United Nations. <laughs> we're screwed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, 
you know, uh, Vince McMahon and our president have a great deal in common. As a matter of fact, you might not know this, but do you know that at one point Donald Trump was on the WWE uh, playing one of the roles uh, of an antagonist? And he had a hair versus hair match. Oh, my gosh. Vince McMahon. You, well, you see, Donald still has his hair. He, well, you know, hey, uh, yeah, it's, you know, a, okay. it's well, amazing what Crazy Glue will do. Okay. Well, you know, again, like I say, and I have seen that that wind blowing one. That, that's too much. That's just frightening. <laughs> In the United States, there's a video that he should ban from ever being seen by the light of day. <laughs> All right. So, anyway. All right. Well, Vince McMahon and, and, and Donald Trump are very, very similar. Mm -hmm. Vince McMahon, of course, owns the WWE. And he's always out there to make sure that the show is out there and so the people are all happy and they can see that good always triumphs over evil unless I say so. It's all about Donald, posturing. Donald Trump says, yeah, well, I'll tell you, North Korea, it's like it's going to be all the way I want it to be. Otherwise, there's going to be fire and fury in the morning. Blah, 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 boom. <laughs> <laughs> This is our, our, our entire government system yep. based on the WWE. Well, hopefully. Just remember that I told you this, and just remember that when you when you go to, when you go to put that piece of paper in the pot, who do you want? Well, who do you want running this country? Vince McMahon or Kamala Harris? Okay, so. <laughs> oh, <bang. laughs> I'm afraid of Kamala Harris. No. Because, and I'm going to tell you why. All right. Here we go. This is the political portion, gang. Sorry. Yes, here it is. It's like, you know, because because of, we are of different cultures, you and I. Yes, I'm. And I'm Kamala <laughs> Harris. Kamala Harris reminds me more of my culture than enough. And Kamala Harris looks like she'd be one of those that would stand behind the vice president. If he said the wrong thing and slap him upside the head. <laughs> 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 Move over, Joe. All right. What yeah, he really exactly. meant to say was. <laughs> all right. You know, again. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. She's going to be next I, to him I, all the flipping time. Oh, yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm like, uh, well, okay. I, I, I'm, I'm done with the political thing. Because all right. I didn't all right, really want right. to get into that. So but. you're mentioning uh, not talking about different things. And I want to talk about things that you should not do. Okay. Well, okay. So <laughs> you like that transition? All right. Podcast with Dan Mason. <laughs> All right. So as you know, as you know, I enjoy uh, uh, imbibing in adult beverages. Okay. In other words, you're an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not registered. So the interesting – so there is a uh, – if you hop on Facebook long enough, there are these pop-up oh, ads. I like that. Yeah. There are these pop-up ads that are like uh, – you know, uh, uh, the the little puppy. I don't know if you've seen these pictures of the the. Oh, looks just like a real dog, and it, you see, it's like it's, it's an animated dog that comes running up to you. Or they'll have these high speed RC or, or, um, remote control cars. Uh, uh, then they have the food delivery services, of course, uh, the time we're in right now. And then they have the home delivery of wine. And I'm <laughs> and I like eh, I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm not Nah, forget it. Nah, nah, nah. And I did I. Signed up for one of them, and it was uh, I'm a golden leaf or a silver Is this a subscription? Bell. I'm sorry? Is this a subscription? It can be. It can be. Right. So they give you like a really lowball introductory, <laughs> you know. A dollar ninety nine. Yeah, you get and you get like 67 bottles of wine. You're like, all right, that sounds good to me. So, um, and there's like dozens of these wine delivery places, okay? So sure as donuts, I signed up for one. Got my four to four bottles, and I just went ahead and canceled. I mean, it was nice wine. It was probably less expensive than having to go to you know the grocery store and pick it up. But that's <laughs> wait, 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 stop. What? Stop. <laughs> what did you just say? It would be less expensive than going to the grocery to the store. grocery store. <laughs> yeah. <get> wine? <laughs> yeah. Why not? So that's why they have the stores that have L I Q U E R. And beer no, and no, 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 no. So that you can, yeah, they're the total. I go to the, I go to, the suit, I go to Safeway and get my brews, man. <laughs> <laughs> I go down to the 7 Eleven, okay? <laughs> hey, listen, but, you laugh, but there was a day when I, you a cup of wine, man. <laughs> I know, I know. But but here's the deal they, uh, a lot of the 
a lot of the larger grocery stores will have a very good selection. They get the, the same big selections you get from the wine store. So I figure what the hey, you know, go, I check things out. Um, sometimes I stumble across a good one. A lot of times I don't. Anyway, so uh, so I did. About, about five months ago, I signed up for the wine delivery. I got it. It was good. I moved on. And then, of course, as soon as you click on that, Facebook notices that. Now, all those radio control and those little puppy dog uh, ads are replaced with wine offerings, wine offerings, wine offerings, wine offerings, wine offerings. I'm like, what are you? Oh, okay. That's the algorithm. I'm now into that role. <laughs> okay. So sure enough, there's one, and I forget the name of it. It starts with a V, as in vine. And I clicked on it, and it was like six bottles of wine delivered for like $42 and, and, they'll throw in two extra bottles at random. And I'm thinking, I'm doing the math. I'm like, man, that's cheaper than everywhere on the planet. So I said, all right, I'll, I'll sign up for the plan and then I'll cancel. That's the way I do it. I sign up for the plan. I get it. You know, there's no obligation. So my daughter comes up, she's 21. My daughter comes up and she says, Hey, yeah, you got this really huge, huge box delivery by, <laughs> by this guy who spoke Scottish. <laughs> I said, what? Yeah, the UPS driver spoke Scottish. I'm like, all right, whatever. So I get the box, and the bottom of the box is wet. <laughs> and I'm like, all right, this is not a good sign. And it looks like it was taped by, like, me. It was terrible. So, and the label was all a I'm like, what is going on here? So I open it up. And there are seven bottles, not eight. There are seven bottles inside. And it was, looked like it was wrapped by a two-year-old. And they put some, like, air wrap on top. And I'm like, and everything in there is soaking wet with wine. I'm like, what the heck? <clears throat> so I, I reach out to the shipper. And they're very apologetic. Don't know what happened. I said, yeah, I mean, everything, everything is just covered in wine. I'm mean, just the, the labels, everything. Just, a hole in the bottle. She says, <laughs> and this is for the instant messenger. I'm like, she's, I'm very sorry. Never should have happened. We're going to be sending you a replacement set. Oh, okay. That's cool. So now you get eight more bottles. So keep your mouth quiet to say, okay, thank you. And towards the end of the conversation, um, I said, now, do you need copies? I mean, I can make take pictures and send this off to you so you guys can file a claim. She said, oh, that would be great. Okay. So, again, I'm getting eight replacement bottles. I sat, I still have the seven. That, so you now have 15 bottles. So I take the pictures and I upload them to the email as she instructed. I, I referenced my little guide thing. And then I received an email back. Thank you very much. We're very apologetic. We're, you know, uh, this should never have happened. Can you tell me which bottle was missing? <laughs> I said, well, I believe it was the da, 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 da quail, which was wrong, by the way. Thank you for letting me know. I'm sending out another one. I'm like, whoa, 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 what? <laughs> so now I have... <clears throat> You're going to get, you're going to have one and, uh, let's see, one, yeah, one extra eight, bottle. Yeah. yeah. You're going to have eight bottles of wine. Yeah. So I got eight bottles of wine and eight bottles. So I got 16 bottles of wine for $42. You do the math. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be drunk to want to pass that one up. <laughs> yeah. So, and so after that's gone. <laughs> if I was about to ask you about, yeah. uh, about your beer, but. Also, have you heard that's two dollars? That uh, that's two, of Virginia. That's like two buck chuck, man. What? I'm sorry. Go ahead. Commonwealth of Virginia. Yeah. Usually, they have all these great sales and specials for you this year. Mm -hmm. Not this year, baby. No, yes, sir. They have announced it's like, no, sir. You're gonna pay what we want you to pay for it, and there's not gonna be any special deals. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's it's been a, it's been a rough year. Hey, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna do a short break, and then we'll come back and we'll talk about my beer. Goodness for this break. Sadly, however, we will return to the Slade and Mason show.
Sundays. Today in history, October 18th, 320. Papas of Alexandria, the Greek philosopher, observes an eclipse of the sun and writes a commentary on the great astronomer. And then they did an expose on him on 60 minutes, and then he got a spot with Conan. 1016, the Danes defeat the Saxons, and in 1081, the Normans defeat the Byzantine Empire. Sounds less of history, more like a chemistry class. 1210. Pope Innocent III excommunicates German leader Otto IV, and then later goes on to make that elevator. So there, meh. 1851, Herman Melville's Moby Dick is first published in merry old London. And of course, we all know the opening line, they call me Ishmael, goes down in history. Could have been different. He was working on another one and started, it was a dark and stormy night. 1954, Texas Instrument introduces the very first transistor radio. It was called the Regency TR1, as in transistor radio one. Get it? Like the first one they ever made. Get it? Then the TR2, TR3, really original. You know, kind of like calling it the Apple II. I yeah, wonder where they got that idea. And finally, 1991, the Supreme Council of Azure, 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 wait for it, Azerbaijan, close enough, adopts a declaration of independence from the Soviet Union, to which the Soviet Union responded, okay, good luck, bye-bye, right when you get work. I'm Dan Mason, and that's October 18th. Yeah. Hot Girl Pizza, I'm Heidi. Here's your Hot Girl Pizza as you ordered. Thanks. Uh, w wait a minute. I ordered pepperoni. I mean, God, you wouldn't believe it. The last guy's order got this order messed up, too. He got pepperoni pizza, and he ordered cheese. That'll be $32.50. They're not exactly the brightest penny in the bunch, but God, aren't they lovely. <laughs> Hi, it's me, Heidi, your Hot Girl Pizza Girl. You were just here like four minutes ago. Oh my god, you're right. I thought you had a twin brother. How was your pepperoni pizza? You gave it to the other guy, remember? I got the plain cheese. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, bye. Hot Girl Pizza, it's me, Heidi. Here's your Hot Girl Pizza as you ordered. Oh, say great. Hey, wait a minute. This looks like the Zornio. I know, right? So, I was going to deliver the pizza, but I got a call from my boyfriend who told me his best friend's girlfriend had car trouble and he had to help him. And then he ran into his old girlfriend, who was from out of town, who he said was recently got BD two years ago. Can you believe it? After two years? So, he said he needed to help her move some boxes in her new apartment. My boyfriend is so nice that way, so I promised I was going to get them some pizza from the store. But the store hadn't opened yet, so I gave him yours, and then I stopped to go get you some DiGiorno. Just follow the directions on the box. It'll be thirty-two fifty. Not a bright penny in the bunch of them. But you're gonna love Hot Girl Pizza Delivery. Hot Girl Pizza. Coming to an area near you. Are as 
fair as his toes, <laughs> never had his whiskers sheared. He's the man with the weird beard. It ain't green, uh uh. It ain't gray, uh uh. It ain't oats, it ain't corn, it ain't hay. Nay, nay. It's a jungle that hangs from his ears. He ain't seen his feet for years. Look at him, look at him, dressed in his best. Wearing a beaver instead of a vest. You ain't lived until you've heard about the man with a weird beard. I can't even explain. We return you now to the Slade and Mason Show. <laughs> Hi, I'm J.D. Slade. I'm Dan Mason. And this, this is the Slade and Mason, Mason Show. Well, that Before has got to be the... Second. Before yeah. you go one second, I have to explain something. <laughs> All right. So when Dan says, okay, we're going to take a little break, and it's like, and he starts compiling together the day in history, and then, of course, mm-hmm. hot girl pizza and things like that. I'm walking out the building, so it's like uh, you don't know how long and how far this hallway is, but it's like uh, it's uh, if you're if you're walking normally, you probably could make it uh, down the length of the hall in ten fifteen seconds. Mm-hmm. And me, of course, here I'm here with uh, well, there's one titanium steel leg mm-hmm. and one foot that feels like it's been sat on by titanium steel, <laughs> <laughs> and so I have to make it all the way down the hallway so that I can do my business uh-huh. and. I got back here. I got back here at the very last note of whatever it was you were playing. So I have no idea uh, what it was. It, <laughs> <laughs> so it's called the, well, you'll have to go back and listen to this tomorrow. So it's called the man with the weird beard by Arthur, <laughs> Arthur Godfrey and the, oh God, and the two it? fat trio. <laughs> <laughs> Arthur Godfrey. He discovered more talent in the fifties than anybody in the oh world. Oh <laughs> my gosh, that was too funny. Anyway, that is for National No Beard Day, uh, which is today, October eighteenth. Uh, but I still I still have my beard, so I, I, all right. Now listen, yeah. see, Ken, <clears throat> I did something a little different because it's like uh, if you take a look at a uh, for a face forward shot you will see that there is it's like sort of like a panda bear <laughs> because yeah. it's like you've got the black mustache <laughs> and all around it is all this white stuff that's growing and it's like and so i have not shaved parts of this since i went in the hospital in july because uh. i'm trying to see what it's going to look like but i got a feeling it's going to look like a trash can in <laughs> just a few hours <laughs> <laughs> poor guy poor guy I'm one of those that, I mean, look, I cannot grow a beard to save my life. Mm. It's like, you know, again, I, if I try to grow one, there's all these patches in it. And so, yeah. so it's like, I, I guess I'm going to just, <sighs> but it was, uh, like I say, when I asked people to vote on which way you liked it, whether you wanted to see it with a beard or whether you wanted to see it without the beard, it's like people are going, well, yeah, but when you have a beard and you do it like that, you look like a panda bear. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> oh all right gosh. i'm so, sorry uh, i see something i see. i know it's coming yep all right so this section this portion this division of the slate and mason show is brought to you by icy something icy uh shaved ice and treats by my buddy sheila keenan um so what is that all about well okay so sheila decides she's gonna get this big huge red truck and she did and she got this beautiful italian ice shaver doesn't sound like much but it really really is she gets a big huge block of ice and it's especially uh prepared ice because actually it's got uh she it's been purified and anyway so anyway she gets a block of ice she puts it in the holder and it's mind you this thing keeps it you know super duper cold as well and then it rotates at a very high speed and it comes down like this soft snow this really soft almost like ice cream it's really smooth and creamy and then what they do is they put it into a little cup thing and they start putting flavorings on top of it. And, oh, man, it is just so, so, so good. Um, she's still up and running. 
I would have thought she'd be shut down by now. It was rather chilly this morning, but nope, she has a couple of places going on. So you can go to Facebook and go to I See Something I See uh, to check her out. So it's I C E Y S O M E T H I N. Leave the G off for goodness sakes. And then I C E Y again. Uh, they're at www.com. They also have an Instagram page where there's an underscore line between where, you know, spaces would be. And, of course, a Facebook page. They're available at 804-617-8827. That's 804-617-8827. So good for birthday parties. I'm sorry, 804-617-8827. So good for birthday parties, corporate events, fundraisers, things like that. So if you're – they they even did hike. There was a little – they call it micro stock car racing down in Richmond. She was there about three weeks ago. They it she couldn't keep up with the the demand. It was really neat. And, and I don't know if you've ever seen micro stock car racing. I mean, they are fervent about that. Oh I mean, just, my, yeah. These people were just. Yeah. I'll leave it at that. Yep. Eight oh, but they were cool people though. They were cool people. Uh, eight oh four six one seven eighty eight twenty seven. Give her a call. Tell her that Dan Mason and J D Slade from the Slade and Mason <laughs> Show sent you. Earth. <laughs> yeah, and then, and then she runs away real fast. No, 804-617-8827. Give her a call and Karen tell her. Comes back with and, <laughs> and tell her I said hi. So, um, ale. So, sure as donuts. All right, before you do that, before you get into beer, right. I got a joke for you. It's not beer, it's ale. For Go ahead. Yeah. It's ale, I'm sorry. What's a vampire's favorite fruit? What is a vampire's favorite uh, blood orange? A nectarine. <laughs> <laughs> by whippersnappers <laughs> see they're both citrus fruits you see there's yes, the nectar right, yeah the okay blood. see don't explain it joke if you explain it joke you ruin the joke all right talking about the ale all right. ale, ale, ale. so ale is fun because it's easy to do it's like doing bread okay you keep it at room temperature I've seen the bread I've made. <laughs> have you ever made bread oh yes it's uh yeah I used my mom. My oh. mom was a wonderful cook, and she taught me how to make those make biscuits from scratch. You know, mm-hmm. I mean rolls from scratch with yeast and everything else. There you go. It's like sometimes it's like boy, it's like they'd be just nice, and the top would be just as brown, and they, it would be all evenly, nicely done. Mm-hmm. And then sometimes you would have those that have that big clay hook at the bottom of them. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, you know, again, it's like, oh, that's when you want to take and you, you want to cut the half that's all nicely done and eat that and then just <laughs> take the other and throw them for dough balls. Uh, oh, my gosh. Anyway, so it, it ale is nice because it's very forgiving. Uh, if you do, uh, was it lager? Lager is like Budweiser and Heineken and things like that. You got to keep it a certain temperature cold while the yeast eats. And if you don't, you, you've just got <laughs> five gallons of stuff you got to pour down the drain but <clears throat> ale is easy because if it stops fermenting you just throw some more uh yeast in there anyway so um i think three weeks ago four weeks ago we were talking about uh, i was doing a pacific a west west coast pacific ale they called it and i used not one not two but five bags of hops into this thing mm-hmm. and the last bag yeah, hops look like i'm sorry yeah they're like little tiny uh pine cones no, they're like they're like marijuana buds. No, would you stop it with your pot oriented drug? You take a look at any hop, and you take a look at a good marijuana bud, and you couldn't tell the difference. You'd be throwing them in there, talking about, "Oh, we're gonna drink this today." <laughs> <laughs> I bet that hell would taste pretty good. We're not even gonna wait until it's finished, bro. We're just gonna wait. We're just gonna here go see something, and then we're gonna drink. <laughs> anyway, so I gotta tell you, this was the best. Best ale I have ever made. As a matter of fact, I, I and I keep sipping it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so good. So if you want a big hoppy ale, that's the one. That's the kit you gotta get. But anyway, so um, yeah. So I, I did pitch my yeast. So I'll just have like a regular ale to drink, and then I'll have the nice ale to drink, and then and that's what's going on there. But hey, but um, I did look at the clock, and I'm wondering if I have to play uh, Weird Al. Yes. You do, my friend. All right. Well, let me get <laughs> let me get Mr. Weird Al scheduled Before here. Before you get the first one, let me give you the first yeah. story because this is just really this is just too much. All right. All right. People Magazine says that you know about Amazon Prime this past week. Did you shop? Mm, Penny? Yeah, but you know Don't what? Lie. It was it was interesting because uh, and I want to talk about that because we're going to talk about 
upgrading stuff for the Slade Mason show, I did. I purchased a new hard drive because the other one I had was a one quarter terabyte, and now I have a two terabyte. So, yeah, so we get lots of storage in there. We, we can do more Slade and Mason shows. Yeah. All right, so well, I'm thinking about. I, I told you I got to buy a, a computer, but it's like I'm kind of waiting for my stimulus check, which they're never going to send to me. But anyway, all right, shoppers were expected to spend ten billion dollars in the two days on Amazon's Prime Day sales. Hmm. Over six billion was going to be spent in the United States alone. Can you believe that? Where the hell is all this money coming from, and where's my share? I don't know. Did they spend that much? <laughs> Yeah, hey, that's what it says, and I wow. haven't even gotten the final numbers. I'll have those tomorrow. Okay. All right, listen, you know why we are the fattest country in the world? Why we, we just, people just look at us and they want to just call us, uh, let's say character that was in um, uh, Austin Powers. Uh, oh, fat bastard. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. This is my fatty, fatty, fatty report for this week. WFLA says KFC has launched a new sauce called KFC sauce. It's described as tangy and sweet with a hint a smokiness. Okay, yeah. that's the light stuff. All right, Yahoo News says Duncan is celebrating Halloween with a spicy ghost pepper donut. It comes with strawberry icing for dipping. The donut goes on sale tomorrow. Yeah. Big news says McDonald residents in Hong Kong are adding vegan spam to their menus. The spam <laughs> will be used in breakfast dishes, burgers, and pastas. That's like ordering, I want six dozen donuts and a diet drink. Fans say it says Miller High Life has created a breakfast beer called <laughs> Brunch or Hard IPA. It has hints of orange and mango and pairs well with French toast, pancakes, and eggs benedict. <laughs> <laughs> QSR Magazine says Taco Bell is bringing back its Steela Base. Now, this is this is Taco Bell's effort to make you eat more fatter. Steela Base Taco promotion for the 2020 World Series. Taco Bell fans will receive a free taco after the first base is stolen in the World Series. Do you know how many tacos are going to go out the door? <laughs> a lot. All right, I thought you like this. You're not really into eating a lot of this stuff, but maybe you just want something to remind you. Hormel has created bacon-scented coronavirus mask. The Daily Star says Hormel has created a bacon-scented coronavirus mask. The description for it reads, Breathable bacon is a revolutionary free mask featuring the latest in pork scented technology. It contains a two-ply multi-fiber to keep the delicious smell of bacon always wrapped around your nose and mouth. Crash. Yes, because of people trying to get the mask. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, sometimes it takes a while to catch on. Uh, the Brackwell or Bracknell News says 91-year-old Eleanor Smith recently tried McDonald's food for the first time. Her nursing home director in Waukesha, England, took her and two other residents for a drive for food. They went through the drive-thru before Eleanor marched on, uh, munched on a McDonald's hash brown. <laughs> she posted a picture of herself along with the caption. <laughs> <laughs> All right, send, I want to so. send a heartfelt thank you for the outing the three residents had. <laughs> In the car, it was so unexpected, but there at the same time, so welcome. And to have all this cap, my, my first drive through visit to McDonald's, oh. you really did not think much of me. I go oh. to hell. Oh my <laughs> gosh. There is so much to talk about with what you just said there. So I just want to start picking some <laughs> stuff apart. Oh my gosh. First off, I guess she was going for a colonoscopy because that's really the best thing you want to have is go get McDonald's hash brown and Baby, you are clear in about four minutes. Um, you also mentioned that McDonald's was doing a vegan spam. There are so many things wrong with those two words. Like right there. <laughs> you would love that. I mean, wait a minute. Wait a minute. The whole idea. First off, if you're <laughs> you're vegan, you are so so concerned about the poor little animal, you know? And then on the other side, you're like, who gives a rat's patootie about the animal? Just give me whatever's left over and grind it up into a pulp and stick it in a can. I really call it spam. It's like McDonald's got this great idea. It's just, guys, guys. Let's take the Democrats and the Republicans and get them together and we'll have a vegan spam. <laughs> God. <laughs> I nearly Thank choked you. when I heard that.
<laughs> oh god that is so wrong that is so <laughs> on, on so many different levels that is so wrong i, I can't even and, <laughs> and and you know it'd be even better if it were deep fried <laughs> I, I I don't think I could top that one. That really uh wow. Hey, you know, again it was I, I, I had I have to dig for these things, but it's like uh, every once in a while, man, I hit the I hit the damn home run, dude. dude. Oh my gosh. I, I'm thinking about this uh, this um Hormel bacon scented mask. I, <laughs> I mean twenty four hours a day, three sixty five, you're smelling bacon, baby. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Oh my well, gosh. here's the thing now, um, <clears throat> and I mentioned I mentioned this a long time ago because now that we're in that you know you should be wearing a mask thing, mm. and we're coming into fall, man. There's gonna be some messy faces <laughs> over the next few months <laughs> because number one, you're just breathing in that CO2 anyway, mm -hmm. and it's just getting a little warm, and if you have a runny nose, guess what's gonna happen, man. That thing is going to go into Olympic sprint mode. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I, I I actually had that. I had that same problem this weekend. I went out and uh, there's a um, uh, local farmer's market and friend from work was going to be there. So I went down and I put my mask on and after a little bit, my nose is starting to get, and I'm like, now what do I do? <laughs> I'm like, uh, hey, I gotta go. Does this sound familiar? <laughs> <laughs> But you can't do that if you have a mask on. Otherwise, you got this drippy goo. It's double door. Oh, my gosh. Um, man, it's going to be really gross as well, man. All right. All right. We're not supposed to talk about this. All right. Anyway, um, let's see. More food. More food. So did you know that uh, we have – so, okay. Uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I, again, for those of you who are just joining the program, just. when Dan gets ready to start to say something, he's going to start that thing four times before he gets it right. So go on. <laughs> you're off to number three. <laughs> now, we, all right. So you you have – you've shared McDonald's doing a vegan uh, uh, spam offering, okay, <laughs> which is probably the most make-me-vomit-in-my-mouth thing I, I've heard all week. But, But I digress. I thought that that was probably the worst. I have actually stumbled across something that is even more <laughs> diabolical and nauseating. Spam? Worse than that. You ready for this one? Oh, God. Okay. Uh, the biggest chicken manufacturer is not Purdue. It is Tyson's Food. They produce more chicken in the United States and outside the United States than any other company. They are the chicken king. So what better than to ask of a company is to come up with a non-chicken food. Sure as donuts, Tyson's has figured out how to make a non-chicken meat chicken. replacement. <laughs> yep, a non-chicken chicken. chicken. <laughs> and... Did they go to did they go to KFC? No. Did they go to Popeyes? No. No. Did they go to Mickey D's? <laughs> no. Did they go to even Burger King? No. Nope. No. Did they go to maybe mm, Dunkin' Donuts? That's no. One. Ding, 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 nope. Ding, ding, ding. Nope. 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 Here's what they did. They went to the company that had the largest uh, uh, salmonella outbreak of of. <laughs> organization on the planet they went to no they went to jack in the box remember this goes back years ago jack in the box killed more people with a <laughs> salmonella outbreak so tyson's tapped on their shoulder and said hey man hey, we got we got <laughs> we got this chicken sandwich and um we'd like you to sell it and of course jack in the box said sure why not so there is this chicken sandwich and they showed a picture of it oh god it, i don't want to put it in my mouth. <laughs> I just swear to see wilted leaves. Oh, it you looked know? <laughs> it looked absolutely evil. It looked like this. You you know what? Uh, you remember uh, Boston 
Uh, they call them Boston baked bean. No, not Boston burnt baked beans. You know uh, those candies? They get this crackly yeah. outer surface. Oh yeah, they had the, yeah. It was the candy surface. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. okay. Got it. Imagine that in the shape of a chicken sandwich. <laughs> it is the most. It looks like something's bubbling and foaming outside of this thing. <laughs> Oh my god. god. It it doesn't it doesn't look like it's going to be a good ride. So Now how come you haven't tried that yet? How come I have First off, there are no jack in boxes around here. Oh, well, there's a reason. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you just found out the reason, man. I got, I got talking to this microphone. It's basically this uh, <laughs> talking to the guy's yeah. mouth. It's great. Yeah, that's that's really disgusting. So that's coming out. Um, they're very excited about it, and a, I will post a picture. We don't have any jack in the boxes in this area. Yeah, I will post a picture um, of the well, the link, and you can look at it and go, mm, yeah, it's not working for me. Yeah, that's not going to work. Yeah, no way. Mm -mm. So, by the way, jack in the box. Uh, our attorney's name is John J. Davies. It's like <laughs> <laughs> John <laughs> Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. Uh, the uh... <laughs> handed in the lawsuits, man. No, actually, you know, we're uh, we're in pretty good shape. We yeah, are. we haven't we haven't really libeled or slandered anybody. No, hey guys, really important. I just want you guys to know you you can buy merchandise on our website. I want to plug this a little bit because I I purchased a new hard drive. I got a brand new monitor. I got a brand new mouse. I'm I'm committed. We're gonna do the Slade Slade Mason show and, and until until there's nothing left. No more <laughs> until Slade is gone and he's earthworm bleed. Gotcha. Or I get hit by a bus and JD is like. Huh? Hey, no, see, let me just, uh, you know, again, while you get your pitch ready for OLFW, listen, so I, I didn't, I couldn't do a couple of shows, ladies and gentlemen, and mm -hmm. I said, Dan, you know, just, why don't you just run a best of in that way? No. 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 I got to hear all this crap. What were you thinking? <laughs> what in the world were you thinking? <laughs> I'm, I'm making sure that the listeners have something really good to listen to. And and since I didn't have anything to listen to, <laughs> it's like you know, what is that guy drinking? Oh no, <laughs> it's just coffee. <laughs> just drink a little bit of coffee there. It's not a big deal. So, uh, uh, all right, see. listen. Uh, we got some nice stuff on our webpage. Uh oh. No, you're supposed to be plugging the website. Oh, w. Oh, all, right, all, right, all right, let me start this over again. Hold on. Please go to O L F w.com <laughs> and you'll see a link for merch click on merch and order hoodies thanks freddy <laughs> you know it's like I, I i could still be in bed right now you know and rolling over for the third time but no you talk about dedicated i get up and i I even I even walk, clean myself up, so it's like I can be fresh for nobody. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Christmas is coming. Don't forget to order early. You get that, put a penny in the old man's hat. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna be out of here. Say goodbye, Mr. Slade. Goodbye, Mr. Slade. Pig in space. Hi, I'm J.D. Slade. I'm Dan Mason. And, and this, this is the Slade and Mason, Mason Show. Show. Well, we shot another hour in the foot. I don't know how we did that. Take us out of here, Freddy. I do. What the heck? Press that button, Freddy. Come on. Press it. There we go. <laughs>
This has been a Rockhead and Roadshow production. <laughs> <laughs> All right, team, you know the drill. So if you're enjoying the Slade and Mason show and you want to see more episodes, make sure you hit the subscribe button down yonder and hit the bell. You got to do both. Um, something bad will happen. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Bye.